what is going on guys sorry about that <laughs> so yeah guys today we're going to be doing a little bit of a different video now usually what do we do we usually feed tarantulas which this one just doesn't want to eat for some oh there we go just took it down for us beautiful thank you for the video we water tarantulas and sometimes we even tease tarantulas which i don't have a stick or a leaf now so yeah no clip for that however today we're going to be doing something like i mentioned a little bit different and that is if you can see this enclosure over here now this is my avicularia metallica avicularia guiana avicularia ecuador avicularia no this is a salmopoeus cambridge but yeah as you can see what is the difference you see between the avix 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 and salmopoeus Cambridge. What's the difference? I mean, it's kind of obvious. If it's not obvious already, you guys are probably blind. Just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, look at this. Look at the side of the enclosure. You may be wondering what these are. These are poop, guys. Yep, these are tarantula poop. Now, I don't understand what is with Avix and pooping on the side. I don't know why they can't just poop on the ground. Like, for example, like, look at this one, this one. Okay, so this is a terrestrial earth tiger. And look at this. It poops on the ground, which I'm still not happy about. Okay, fine. I should rephrase my, my, uh rent like like why do they have to poop on the glass like why are you serious like can't you poop on the ground like a dog or something and if you're saying like oh this one poops on the ground because it is a terrestrial wait 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 just right there just hold up this right here is the enclosure of my blue fang tarantula let's see if you can see it in its burrow i'm not oh yep it's it's right there so there is not focus but whatever this is my blue fang tarantula's enclosure and guess where it poops Exactly. Right here. Like, are you freaking kidding me? I don't understand. Why can't they just poop like a proper person or a proper spider like on the ground? Like, oh, I... It it make, it just makes me frustrated. That's one thing what I don't like about tarantulas. But I mean, it's it's all in their nature, I guess. I mean, there's no glass in the wild. So where do they poop in the wild? <laughs> Maybe they'll find some like glass on the ground and just like <laughs> over there. <laughs> but yeah, guys. Today, anyways, instead of like rambling so much, today we're going to be cleaning the poop of this tarantula. Oh boy, you heard me right, you guys. You heard me right. You did not hear me wrong. We're going to be cleaning the poop of this tarantula so as you can see over there there's my avicular metallica metallic pink toe if you don't know why they're pink toes then you're blind <laughs> just kidding all right so we've got the water dish out because i don't want to break this so basically what i'm going to be doing is just wetting a cloth oh yeah I'm not going to be putting a disclaimer like right in the beginning of video, but now I'm going to give you guys a disclaimer. Don't watch this when you're eating. I mean, it's not as bad as like dog poop or anything, but yep. Watch this, you guys. Wet cloth, tarantula poop. Now, this tarantula poop is actually pretty solid. If you can hear that. See? It, it's like, it's kind of like powder. Look at that. Like powder. So... Yeah, so basically, you want a wet cloth. This is one downside if you're keeping Avix. You just wipe it down like this. And it gets pretty gross because, look at that. It gets all wet and... Oh! So, this is not a very... Look at that! That is pretty gross, you guys. That is not pretty gross. It's kind of really absolutely gross. Oh my gosh. Will you look at that? That is pretty... Ugh, I have really no better work to do, you guys. Like, look at that. Tell me that's not disgusting. <laughs> and look at the cloth. Ugh, okay. A lot of you guys actually did ask me, I mean, and is still asking me, do tarantulas poop? Well, let this video answer you by itself, okay? I'm not gonna answer that question. Oh, actually, you know what? I think I know what's the better way to do this, the more efficient way to do this. So basically, I'm gonna be wetting it down. Just so, even even the lid, like, look at this. That's disgusting, dude. All right, so I'm going to be wetting everything down to soften the poop. And then once everything is moisturized and, ew, ew, moisturized. <laughs> moisturized poop. And once everything is sort of like moisturized, then we will just wipe it all down. I think that would be the more efficient way to do it instead of like just using the cloth because I'm just smudging the poop everywhere. Like, look at my cloth. That is, oh my gosh. All right, let the cloth, you know what? I'll just wash the cloth because it's kind of gross. Look at the water, oh, look at that, you guys. <laughs> 
All right, this is pretty interesting. Cleaning tarantula poop. What should I title this video? We have watering my tarantulas, teasing my tarantulas. Uh, this one will be, I don't know, cleaning my tarantulas poop. As, as simple as that. I don't know, you guys. Let me know in the comments. Wait, I'll probably already have a video before you guys can comment. The, yeah, forget it. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna be leaving this. Actually, you know what? It should be left already long enough. Let's see. Yep, way easier. So much easier. Why did I not think of this? I never thought of this method. I always took a damp cloth and just started wiping and smudging everything. Look at this. It's so much easier. There we go. Oh, this is so much easier. Why was I not a genius like how I am now? Look at this, this is so much easier. Why did I not think of this? Yo, you guys know the, the, the what do you call it? The TikTok, the wipe, wipe, or the, the, the whatever song. I think this would be a good uh, TikTok, like, I don't know. But nah, I'm not, I'm not good at editing those kind of videos. So nah, just forget it, just forget it. This is so annoying. <laughs> I hope the tarantula doesn't like come out and sense my hand as food and just bite it. That'll not be fun. This is what you have to deal with, you guys, when you want to keep Avix. The smudge, I don't have to worry about that. I'm just going to be getting all the solid part off. And then I will spray the water down to clean off the smudge. Like, oh my gosh, she is coming. She is coming towards me. I think I should wash my uh, cloth again. That is freaking nasty, girl. You're a girl. You should be more ladylike. Like, why would you poop on the, the walls? Like, oh, please do not come for my hand because I'm literally touching and moving her web. She may think that it is food because, you know, tarantulas, they're not the brightest of creatures. And they sense vibrations as food or predator. So either way, I'm going to be in trouble because if it's food, she's going to come and bite me. If it's predator, she's going to threat posture and bite me. So that's not a good thing, is it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm so sorry. I should stop touching her web. Oh, no. Please go down. Please go down. I'm just cleaning your poop, okay? Because you are being a dis disgusting girl i'm almost done by the way if you guys keep avix let me know in the comments below how your avix are are they like as bad as mine like look at the sides i'm pretty sure they are because i mean avix they are just like that i guess i'm pretty much done for the sides now it's for the lid i'm just gonna have to ah uh, yeah so much easier way easier look at that i'm not even using strength because the water has moisturized the poop. Why do I keep saying moisturized? It's such a wrong term for this, but yeah, whatever. Moisturize the poop and it is super soft and ready to come off. Super duper easy. Oh, I just splashed on my nose. Blech. Bad girl, why do you have to poop like this? Just poop on the floor. There's like plenty of floor space for you. Why do you have to do this to me? Like seriously. <laughs> Okay, so I guess, you know, Avix, thankfully you guys are chill because if you're not chill, I won't be doing this because Avix, usually they are not super aggressive compared to like other arboreal species like the Sound Poise Cambridge. Yo, that one, no thank you. I'm not going to be wiping their poop for them. They better clean it themselves. <laughs> All right, so that is pretty much it. Now I just have to just, I'm sorry, girl. I'm just going to have to just spray everything down to wash it. Yep, looking good, looking good. And uh, I guess that is it. I mean, look at the difference like this and the previous one. I think I did a pretty good job. So that is pretty much what I do with Avix. I mean, I haven't done it in a long time, obviously. Now, I'm not going to be putting this enclosure back now because as you can see, the substrate is pretty dry and it's not absorbing water good enough like how it used to be. Now, that is the problem with cocoa fiber. Once they super dry out, they do not really absorb water much anymore. Look at that. Yeah, we're just going through the enclosure and look at the top over here. So that is why I'm not going to be putting it back here because this is wood and I don't want it to absorb the water and like expand so that's not a good idea so I'm just gonna leave it on the carpet over here you can see the water is not even clear it's poop water gross poop water bad <laughs> it looks super clean now I really really like it and oh yeah forgot gotta plop back the water dish hey girl I'm sorry I wet your enclosure but hey you gotta do it and you asked for it. I mean I got you asked for it and I gotta do it yeah that's that's the right term sorry can't really speak right now but yeah guys that will be it for today's poop 
cleaning video, I think. I still am gonna think of what I'm gonna be titling this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys keep AVAX and just don't know how to clean the poop, then, well, you've learned something new today. Although it's kind of like common sense. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you thumbs this up if you liked it. Thumbs it down if you didn't. Subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, take care. Have a good one. Stay safe. Peace.